Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlotte. So my brother just came back to Malaysia, so I thought it'd be a great idea to cook for the week of quarantine and document it. So in this video, I'll be showing you some of the meals that I made throughout the week. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. I made some bulgur pilaf. Bulgur wheat is quite hard to find in Malaysia and I finally found it so I thought I'd make it. Here I'm just sauteing some onions with some vegan butter, add some carrots, garlic, tomato paste, red pepper paste and mix that all together. I'm adding the washed bulgur wheat and cooked chickpeas. Mix it all really well until it's evenly coated with everything. Add some salt and some dried oregano and as well as dried mint if you like that but I just skipped it. And I'm adding some vegan chicken bouillon powder and some water and we're going to simmer that on low heat for 15 minutes to cook the bulgur wheat. I will link the recipe video of this bulgur pilaf down in the description. Here I'm making an easy salad with cherry tomatoes, olives, balsamic vinegar, some olive oil, salt, and just tossing that all together. I did add some cucumbers but I just forgot at this point. Here I'm just plating the bulgur pilaf with a salad at the side and some vegan cashew yogurt. In the morning, I'm making some oatmeal for him, adding some ground flaxseed and some vegan Nutella. Topping it off with some sliced banana, some fresh blueberries, some walnuts, and some dried cranberries. Alongside the oatmeal, I make a delicious fresh watermelon strawberry smoothie for the both of us. For lunch, I made a Shanghai stir-fried rice cake. I do have a recipe video on my channel, so I will link that down in the description. But here I'm just stir-frying some tofu with some braised mushrooms, adding some Chinese white wine, some bok choy on top, adding some frozen rice cakes, pouring some water and letting that steam for a few minutes. Adding some white pepper. And that's the dish. Pretty simple. Here I'm making a Korean soybean stew. Here I'm sauteing some white onions with some minced garlic. Adding some water and some red pepper paste and miso paste. Adding some mushroom dashi, oyster mushrooms, some zucchini, some soft tofu, and cover and let that boil and simmer for about 5 minutes. And here's the delicious stew. Adding some toasted sesame oil. Here I'm making a mushroom soup. Here I'm just sauteing some onions with some vegan butter. Adding minced garlic, adding a ton of cremini mushrooms, adding some salt, and 
saute until they're all soft. Here I'm boiling some pasta, some orchiette pasta to eat with this soup. Here I made some vegan cashew cream and I'm adding the sauteed mushrooms to it. I'm adding the dried porcini mushrooms that I soaked and water from soaking dried mushrooms. Blend it all together. I'm pouring back into the pot to heat it up. Adding some nutritional yeast, vegan chicken bouillon powder, some soy sauce, black pepper, Here I'm making a dragon fruit banana smoothie. For lunch, I'm making this truffle spinach pine nut fried rice. Here I'm sauteing some minced garlic, adding some chopped spinach with some rice mixing it all together adding my toasted pine nuts mushroom dashi white pepper adding some truffle oil this was so delicious it's so simple but wow it's super good for dinner, I made some charred cabbage. First time making this and it turned out so good. So here I'm just charring it on a pan with a little bit of oil. And once it's turning brown like this, I'm just flipping it over. Once they're brown on both sides, add water and let that steam for a few minutes. Once it's all cooked through, add some soy sauce on top with some crispy garlic bits. Super delicious. Here I'm making a quick vegan ramen broth. Here I'm adding some nutritional yeast, soy sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, letting that boil, adding some oat milk, barista oat milk, and mixing that together. Here I'm pan frying some tofu which I've coated with smoked paprika, cornstarch, garlic onion powder. I'm boiling some bok choy. I'm boiling some wheat noodles as well. The broth was so creamy and delicious. I'm adding two sheets of seaweed and a few slices of the tofu. Topping off with some toasted sesame seed oil. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really appreciate it. Like this video if you enjoyed watching it, it would really help out the algorithm. I'll see you very soon in my next video, so take care.